welcome everybody my name is the IT guy and in this video we'll be looking at how to perform a check disk on Windows systems so a check disk is something you will do when your PC uh, shows signs of a broken partition so you might get like uh, repetitive um, uh, signs that your computer is saying that the Partition, partition, partition may be damaged or something like that and sometimes Windows will even start the check disks themselves um, but in most cases that's not enough you have to do a little bit more you really have to force Windows to repair the sectors and the files that are that have been damaged in the file system and that's what I'm going to show you right now so uh, the first thing we'll do is we'll open up command prompt by typing in CMD at the start menu and this will give us the command prompt and I don't I do do believe it also works in PowerShell but I like to work with command prompt because these are you know commands that are that have been around in Windows for ages so that's what we're going to use so the next thing we want to do is we want to define which disk we are going to um, be performing the check disk on and I have a couple of disks here so I have my C drive, the D drive, the E drive, the F drive and the G drive. Uh, let's go ahead and perform the check disk on the E drive since this is the smallest one and it's also an SSD so it's going to be a little bit faster. Uh, a little disclaimer here if you're doing this for data recovery purposes I must say in advance that this is not the best idea to do this at first if you do think that your drive is failing first of all copy all of your files over to a new drive before starting a chat check disk on this drive on the on the the, the old drive and also uh, Try to leave the old drive alone as much as possible because if a drive is failing, anything like a check disk is a pretty, um, a pretty heavy task for a hard drive to to complete. So, don't go ahead and uh, immediately run the check disk. Start off with copying all your files over to a healthy new hard drive, and then uh, perform the check disk on that drive. Because if there are any partitions or uh, if there are any broken partitions then all those errors will be copied onto the new drive and you'll just as well be able to um, get those uh, defective uh, part uh, the defective sectors and uh, files off of the old drive onto the new one because it, if you're be, you'll be doing a bit by bit copy if you use something like a clone machine so like this uh, cloning docking station uh, it will be practically the same so uh, and also you you avoid the risk of uh, destroying the the hard drive so first of all always copy the data from the old broken hard drive over to a new hard drive and start your disk checking on the new hard drive instead of uh, you know performing such a heavy disk heavy task on an on a disk that is already failing so but if you're just doing this for, um, you know, if you're just doing this because your computer is saying that the hard drive might be, uh, might have some errors and you don't think that the hard drive is failing, the hard drive is not really uh, responding very slowly or you don't hear funny sounds coming from the hard drive, then I do believe it's very safe to do this. Also, if the hard drive is not that old, it might be hard, it might be, um, uh, it might be okay to do this. But if you really want to be sure, um, always make sure that you have a backup of the drive before starting a check disk because sometimes in the case that the drive is physically failing a check disk might might even break the drive more so that's a little disclaimer from my end over here so what do we want to do to um, perform this check disk so we want to perform the check disk by using the command chkdsk and then we want to define the drive itself so we were talking about the e drive yes so this is what we want to do we want to specify our drive first and then we want to give some um, some options over here so we can do slash help um, slash question mark of course and over here we can see all of the different um, options over here so the slash F is that it will force the drive to fix the errors and also the slash R is one we're going to be using so fixing errors on the on the disk is one of the 
things we are going to do. So this is one of the options. The slash R is also the one we're going to do. And uh, don't think that the rest is necessary. So also you can do just a scan of the volume so that it doesn't repair anything. And for the rest you can also just mark the volume clean but this only works for fat for 32 for fat 32 and x fat volumes so you can mark it as clean without doing all of the scanning but you know this is just uh, if you want to force anything off the drive to be copied off a drive you want to mark it as clean first so there might be some cases where you want to use this but for most of the cases and if you just want to repair a defective drive then um, the slash f and the slash r command are the ones that uh, we're going to be using but if you're using the slash r then you uh, as it states already you are implying the slash f so uh, this is just for fixing errors on the drive and this is actually to locate bad sectors and recover readable information so for most cases the slash r command is going to be the one that we are going to be using so how do we perform the um, the check disk in it total in its total uh, how do we perform the uh, check disk is just by typing chk dsk and then we specify the drive so e and then we do slash r and this is actually all we need to do so of course we need to uh, start command prompt as an administrator here so we're gonna exit we're gonna go to CMD run this as administrator and then we're going to perform the check disk E slash R so this is what we're going to do and this is what a check disk will look like so it's going to start looking for bad clusters and it's going to say how much time it's going to need so this is stating that it's going to need about 18 hours. Uh, I reckon that it's going to be a lot less once uh, stage 4 has passed. So we're going to let this uh, pass. We're going to let this um, stage 4 is one, probably one of the, the stages that's going to take the longest. So stage 1, 2 and 3 are pretty quick. And then we have stage 4 and stage 5 which both are a little bit longer and so this is the state these are the two stages where you'll have to be waiting so go get a go get a cup of coffee or go for a walk while this is performing and we'll be right back so this is what a healthy hard drive will look like this is what a uh, a normal check disk would look like and this is something you will you, you can do on your computer if you want to if you have like if your C drive, so I say if you want to perform the check disk on your C drive, then <clears throat> what's going to happen is it's going to ask you it cannot be run on the volume because it's in use by another process. And what's it going to do is it's going to flag the file system for um, for a check disk on reboot so once you reboot the computer the check disk is going to start and you're going to get the same process that you see over here it's going to do the same checks on the c partition and i'm just going to do no right now because i don't want to perform a check disk my i know my c drive is healthy um, but this is actually the the way that you would do it if you want to perform a check disk on the c drive so it's basically the same command but you just specify the C drive and then it's going to ask you whether you want to reboot or uh, where you want to perform the check disk on a reboot or not. So uh, it states that Windows has scanned the file system and found no problems. No further action is required. And that's fine. But if there are some uh, issues that have to be resolved, then Windows will perform the necessary actions to uh, correct the file system errors. So there are other ways too to do this. So you can also go into your uh, PC and then you can go into the uh, drive over here and then you can go into tools and then you can uh, perform the error checking uh, option over here. And this will do the same thing basically, but the difference is that you don't have uh, options like you have in the uh, 
check disk. So, and also I like to use the check disk command because it shows you a little bit more detail than this. If you perform the scanning drive, then it just shows you this little thing over here. And it also, uh, it's done pretty quickly actually. So, see, so there is not much that, ha that uh, is being done here. It finishes in a couple of minutes. So I don't really know what it is doing. Uh, I do think that it just checks for errors and it doesn't correct them. So uh, this is a way to check for errors and not necessarily fix them. So that's why I showed you the way to do it in command prompt because the way you do it in command prompt is a lot more thorough and uh, also it does a lot more than just check the drive for errors. It also fixes them and it does so much more. So I hope this video helped you out guys, and if it did, please leave a like and a comment below. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!